Hello Gourd friends! I have a little bit of a different video for you today where I want to share with you this little sketchbook project of mine where I am attempting to draw uh, in pen and ink as much as possible, from life as much as possible, a hundred cats. Now how does this tie in with pyrography? Well for one thing, I'm working on tone tan paper and as you can see, that mimics the color of the gourd. Another is by using ink, there are no erasings. So that also kind of mimics pyrography, as that I have to be very careful of how I put down and where I put down a mark. And any practice and improvements in my drawing skill will transfer to improving my pyrography as well. Now I am already about halfway to my 100 cats in this sketchbook. So I think what I actually may do, since I'm not even halfway through the sketchbook, the pages yet, I think I'm going to just keep going and I'm going to see how many cats it takes to fill this book. Okay, so I'm just going to show you a few of my sketches from the beginning. Um, these first ones I was using a brush pen and I've never really been that good at using a brush pen. So they're just a little bit more um, rough and loose. And then I decided to start using a fountain pen with a, filled with a brown ink. So here I'm using a Pilot pen, and you can fill these fountain pens with any kind of ink you want. So um, I'm just I used a couple different types of sepia type inks, and um, so this is my cat Finny. Uh, sadly, he passed away uh, about a month ago, and he was 17 and a half years old, and let me tell you, there's something about drawing from life and then having that drawing that means so much more than a photograph sometimes, and I'm just so thankful that I did this drawing, these drawings, uh, before he passed away. Uh, now, here he is again, sleeping. He was laying on the floor. And I've also started to employ these white pens, so the Jelly Roll pen, or I've also used the Uniball Signo. And it really work really nicely just to add a little bit of highlights. So here's my Cat Pepper. And then just some little goofy ones that I'm doing. There's Pepper again. Um, now most of these are from life. There's Finny and Pepper. Some of them I did use some photographs to draw from. This is Pepper again and my other cat Smudge. <clears throat> and Finny again. So I really was starting to enjoy uh, doing the the pen and ink and as you can see these are all from life Here's the back of Finny uh, This is also pepper these were done from a photo this one here and these are actually not my cats This is an outdoor cat. Well, we call her little bear and uh, she's not ours but she is kind of a wild cat and she comes around and we give her food when she's around and then she disappears and then she comes back and she's sort of half wild and half friendly but we um, we just treat her like she's our outdoor friend and she comes and goes as she pleases. So this is I think one of the few ones that I did in pencil of smudge. Uh, this is another outdoor cat. Like We have a lot of, of feral cats in our area. So they come by and I'll snap a picture of them. Uh, this is Smudge. She was sitting in a bowl. I took a picture. And uh, these ones here, I didn't use the fountain pen, but I used, this is a re really the only brush pen that I actually like. This is a, a Tombow pen, calligraphy pen. And what I like about it is the, um, the marks you can make with it. It's, it's a little bit of a harder pen to to um, manipulate. There are some some brush pens they're just so soft and it, it seems hard it's kind of hard to um, to control them but this one you have to press a little bit harder 
and I think you get a nice variety of marks with that. So here are a few more. Uh, this is another outdoor cat. Uh, his name is Petey. We call him Petey, which is short for police department because he is always prowling and watching out for other cats. There's some that he allows in our little area and there's some that he doesn't. <clears throat> Here's Pepper again and then just uh, Petey again and then some uh, other little kitties that I just found on the internet, some pictures. So uh, I really, I have a lot of cats that are, are just um, laying around and sleeping. So I think my next group of cats, uh, unfortunately I can't really do them from life, is to get some more action type drawings in. So I just want to share with you another advantage of using the Tone Tan Paper. And I have been using this to plot out and design some of my designs for gourds. So here's one of my more recent ones where I've been working on some flower studies. So here I'm just using some pencil and white colored pencil. And as you can see, here is the finished gourd. And here's another one of a peony. And here is the finished. So uh, I, I do think that's helpful in maybe plotting out your lights and your darks. It helps you to see a little bit better instead of working on white paper because when you're working on a gourd, obviously all the gourds are already tan. So you're only adding in the darks and you can add light too as I've been using a little bit more of white colored pencil which looks really pretty I think. Uh, it's just a little bit of subtle highlight that you can add and you can test it out on your paper first before you go through all the work of using a pyrography pen which takes a lot longer than pen and ink or pencil. So I hope that was helpful to you and that um, you know you may pick up a pad of the tone tan paper to help you out with plotting out some of your gore designs and maybe you have a project that you'd like to work on uh, as far as doing a hundred drawings. You could do anything you want. You could do trees, you could do fish, <laughs> flowers, um, cars, anything. Anything that interests you, um, just draw that. Draw a lot of them and you will improve and you will find that your drawings will improve and so will your gourd pyrography. That will also improve as well. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe. Uh, that way you don't miss any future videos. So thanks for watching and have a gourd day.